chapter number is over. It didn't see was over for you several years later. And I might have shared this with some of y'all 10, 15 years, I think it was 15 years, when I started working at uh, Gossip Motor Cars, a young guy walks up to me and says, uh, hey, Mr. Kelly, you remember me? I said, no. I thought he wanted to buy a car. I'm a car salesman. He's that car buyer. And he said, no, I'm not here to buy a car. He said, I'm here with my friend who's buying a car. And he said, you and Mr. Raglan came and talked to us. I was one of those bad kids in the sixth period that you came and talked to. And he said, I got two kids, a great job, and I love my family, and I'm married. Oh, man. Well, hallelujah. A lot of times we're not going to see the result of what God leads us to do. Yeah, Lord. He's talking about holiness and Pastor Holloway's vision, bringing back the bill of holiness. I was... I was scared. I said, how am I going to live holy? How? I went to, I guess, I'm trying to share this quick. God put me in a mission in Florida called Sunrise Mission Bible Training Center. If anybody heard, ever heard of it, it was like Teen Challenge. But when I went there, I was trying to go to a drug rehab. I happened to be working at a church called Good News. This church was started by a minister by the name of Derek Prince who wrote that started 700 churches all over the world. I mean, this is a bad dude in the spirit. I don't know why I'm at his church. So me and my wife, ex-wife, gets into it. She said, you can't come here. You can't come back home if you get high again. My mind didn't register that. So she dropped me after work, said, you can't come back here. So I'm in this church working and find out when I get off, I ain't got nowhere to go. I don't know nobody in this state, none of that. So I went and talked to the assistant pastor. He went, I told him I had a drug problem, and I looked in a, uh, a yellow page and had this place called Faith Farm. It was a treatment center. I told him about it and seeing if he could take me up there. What he told me was, I'm going to get the pastor. And he went and got the pastor, and they came and laid hands on me. And so the pastor said, the Holy Spirit said, you need to go to somebody's mission Bible training center. I said, what? I said, I got a drug problem. He said, well, if you want us to help you, you'll go there. Otherwise, you can just leave. So he said, I said, I'll go to Sunrise Mission Bible training center. So when I went there, so the next day, a guy came back. He gave me access to his office, the big church, uh, industrial kitchen. I mean, everything. He said, you can eat with them all. In the morning, we'll have one of our members come take you. When I got there, I met Jesus. Glory. Mm. Uh -huh. When I walked in the door, I knew it was where I was supposed to be. Mm. And I found out about something that we all have a problem with. That's our hearts. You'll never pertain this holiness that God has, has out there for us until we allow him to deal with our hearts. Yes, sir. All right, bro. He said, out of the heart proceed evil things. You got to hate sin like God hates sin. Mm. Paul said, when I do well, evil's present within me. Yes, uh -huh. You can't, you got to be aggressive with sin. Yes, you got to hate it like him. Yes, and he's obligated to show you what's in you that you need to get rid of so you can walk in that power to compel people to come to him. Yes, sir. Only the pure in heart will see God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And our hearts ain't there yet, but they can get there. Amen. Amen. Amen.